But right now I have another roof that's a shingle roof. It's a, for a gutter cleaning and also gutter guard install. Luckily, the, you know, the rain stopped right now, so I'm definitely gonna go tackle it. I wanna go see the house. I wanna make sure I can tackle it. And you know, let's get something in for today, all right? So, we don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. From what I saw on Google, I can, but hey, you know, sometimes Google can be a little, a little tricky. What do you mean Google? On the Google, weather? No, Google um, images, like Google Maps. You looked at his house? Yeah. And you saw how big it was? Yeah. And you're assuming it's not that big, we could knock it out quickly. Exactly. Maybe not quickly, but we can definitely knock it out safely. We'll put it that way. Mm. Uh, even if it rains a little bit? Even if it rains a little bit. What if it rains a lot and you're halfway through the job? And that's where I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet, you know, maybe eat some sandwiches in my car or something, just wait it out. But, you know, right now I checked the weather. It's supposed to be a little dry for the next dry patches for the remainder of the day. If yeah, maybe a couple sprinkles, but I think we can definitely get it done and I'm hoping we get it done. So Edgar, we're at the job already? Yeah, we're at the job right now. So we're out here in San Jose, California. We have a gutter cleaning job with also gutter guards installation. So the process for this is gonna be, we're gonna do is we're gonna clean out all the gutters first, get all the dirt and debris out of there, flush out all the gutters, and then we're gonna go ahead and install the gutter guards. Uh, and the reason why we're doing this right now is we gotta beat the weather. You know, it's like I said, it was raining earlier today, but right now we got a nice good, I think three, four hour dry patch is what they're saying. So I definitely want to get this done and get something in for today. How long should this take? I, I'm, I'm honestly estimating between two, two and a half hours. Oh, so it's a job. Yeah, yeah. What are gutter guards? I'm sorry, bro. I don't have a house, so, you know, I'm not, it's not in my tax bracket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me show you, man. I'm only renting, bro. I'm only renting, all right? So this, this is a piece of a gutter guard. This is one that we used already. Just, you know, I definitely didn't want to throw it away because it's still good. So basically this is gonna sit on top of the gutters. These get screwed in so it doesn't, doesn't get blown away by the wind. And all the dirt and debris that falls is gonna now fall on top of this, but yet still let the water seep through. That way the, all the water still flushes out, but the gutters stay nice and clean. So obviously the benefit is your gutters don't get clogged. Exactly. But debris still gonna be on top of that. Yeah, so you definitely just wanna just get a blower and just blow it all mm. off. Or with the wind that we got yesterday, 80 miles per hour, right, in Los Gatos, that wind will just blow it off as well. Edgar, so is this like a duplex? Uh, yeah, it's a townhome is what he called it. So uh, a lot of times we get a lot of townhomes specific for gutters. But this is like a house, like several houses attached to each other. Right. But you only got to do it on his house. His exactly. Yeah, I'm just doing his house because obviously each house has their own owner or their own renter. Mm. So it's only going to be just this one right here. Hey, Edgar, so what are you doing right now? So right now, as always, talk about safety. So right now I'm doing that ladder, the ladder anchor. So you definitely want to make sure you have everything in place. So I know this is a shingle roof and shingle roofs are my favorite to work on. They're a lot safer. They're easier to work with. But hey, you, you can't get co co too comfortable. So it's those moments when you get too comfortable when you know accidents happen. So regardless of of it being drier, of it being shingles, you definitely still want to be be cautious and safe. Now, this roof right here, this one right here, look, this one right here. Yeah, it's a little wobbly, bro. So you shake it a little bit. So that was the gutters. The gutter. The gutter. The gutters are a little shaky. Um, so I'm gonna go up there see what's going on. I'll take definitely some pictures. Let the homeowner know. He probably just has some loose brackets, um, and we'll go from there. But I mean, obviously, if there's anything that's that's unsafe, I mean, I'm, I won't take my chances. I'll let him know. So Edgar, how's it looking up there, man? We start from the bottom. Yeah. So we're gonna start from the bottom. That way, everything's nice and clean. And then I'll go up there because if if I start from the top and then I go clean it out and flush it, I'm just gonna, you know, clog down here and this is just gonna be a big mess. But no, it's pretty bad, man, pretty bad. So what's bad about it? I mean, it's, it's understandable and that's something that I, I take into consideration. So for those of you that when you do your bids, I don't come over here and take a look at the property when bidding. I always do the bidding prior and I use Google Images, Google Maps. Now what I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look at the house, I'm gonna look at the roof style. 
I'm gonna look at the roof pitch. And then I'm also just gonna look at the vicinity of it. So knowing that there's this big tree right next to it is obviously gonna tell me I'm gonna have stuff in the, in the in the gutters, you know what I mean? If there was no tree, then yeah, they wouldn't be this bad, but, but because there is this tree, I definitely was expecting this. All right, Edgar, you're done with the first gutter? Yeah. Yep, first one, man. So it's like I said, it's pretty bad. Oh. But like I said, it's expected when you when you when you have this tree right next to you, it's definitely expected. Now let me ask you. Yeah. It's bad. Is this a higher price or is it always the same base? It's always gonna be the same base. Mm. Yeah, it's always gonna be the same base. But I take that into consideration when I bid. So Edgar, why did this customer hit you up? Is it is the gutters affecting the house or? Is it unpleasant to see or is it that time of year? Nah, so the, I mean, the main reason why he hit me up is just because, I mean, you can see from there, you know, you can definitely tell that it, it's needed. But aside from that, with all this rain, you know, you, all this rain wasn't even going down the gutters. It was seriously, it was literally just going down the roof and just creating a waterfall. So that's why he hit me up. All right, Edgar, for the people that just got here, we're two hours, almost two hours in into yeah. the job and things changed. Yeah. What changed? So uh, I'm, about to, I'm about wrapping up here. I, all I gotta do is just get down all the garbage from the roof, uh, flush everything out. Everything has been cleaned out, but they're still clogged. The gutters are extremely clogged on this house. But what has changed on this one is the homeowner asked for gutter guards. Um, all right. Uh, these are the gutter guards that I install. They come in a four foot section. This one's cut up. Um, but he asked for to install these. But after getting on this roof and doing my thing, I noticed a lot more issues, bigger issues than just gutters for this homeowner. He just bought this property, uh, he, he told me six months ago. And so that's the reason why he called me out to come clean these gutters because he knew how bad they were. And um, it was a sign of just, you know, previous homeowner didn't really care about the gutters or even the roof in general. And after me pointing everything out that he needs to fix on his roof, I also, you know, give him the opinion. I mean, I'm all about being straight honest, straightforward and honest. I have my morals and just like how I wish people would take care of me, I take care of my homeowners as well. So I told him, hey man, I'll put these on for you, but honestly, it's a waste of your money. Why? Because you have bigger issues. You have gutter, gutter issues, you have roof issues, you have fascia board issues. All that should get addressed before putting this on. This is really should be the least of your worries compared to what you have going on on your roof. And what he say. So he appreciated that. And that and that's where it all comes down to. It comes down to the customer appreciating honesty, appreciating um, you know, that that carefulness and appreciating also when the when the person who's here to perform the service really watches out for their benefit and really cares about them. And I mean I lost the sale on this installing this, but hey, I'm sure you know he'll remember me. I know he'll remember me for either his friends, family or even in the future when he gets all this issues taken care of, I'll come back to put these on. And so for all of you that are watching that you know perform exterior services or even interior services, has this ever happened to you? Did you ever show up at a job where you, know, you were contracted to do something or maybe multiple things but decided not to do it or maybe you did go through with it but you know, where other things needed to get addressed first. I mean, let me know in the comments what you did. Let me know if I handled it correctly. Let me know how, how you would have handled it in a different situation. Appreciate it. So what's the next step with the gutter cleaning? Just uh, flush everything out and then we'll be good to go. And now with the flushing out, what do you want to see? All the water come down from the very top? That's right, yeah. So ideally you want to see all the water come out, especially clean water. That's how you know obviously it's been flushed out and you have clean running water coming out from this water hose. So that's exactly what I'm going to be looking for. But because there was so much trash, I mean, every downspout is clogged. There's not a single one that's not clogged. All done, Edgar? All done, man. So it's just clean up time. So we just gotta make sure everything looks good, everything's nice and clean for the van. I try and wash everything down, especially everything that's been splattered on. All right, everyone, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys uh, were able to see so many of my tips and tricks that I do on a, on a situation like this where the gutters are extremely packed. A lot of uh, leaves and twigs and just branches, everything that, you know, from these trees around here. And like I said, um, these gutters haven't been clean in a long time. I actually just talked to the homeowner. He just moved here six months ago, so he's new to the home. And that's another reason why he reached out to look for a gutter cleaner because he knew once he saw them that he had some issues and it needed to get resolved. So um, he's not sure when the last cleaning was, but just by the looks of it, I mean, it was, it was years ago, maybe two to three years ago. Um, but that's a wrap. 
I'm cleaning up now. Everything's been washed out. Everything's flowing probably the way it should. I double checked all the gutters. All the downspots are clean. I have pictures of everything. I'll be sending that over to the client. And then just to recap, we did the gutter cleaning here. We were supposed to do the gutter guard install, but because of a lot of issues that this roof has for this new homeowner, he, he's opted out to not go with that to first fix, fix the issues which I also uh, recommend it just because it's a lot of issues. And then he'll come back and give me a call. We'll do the gutter guard install then. And like I said at the beginning, you know, it's all about just taking care of your clients. It's all about making sure that they're happy at the end of the day because that's only going to refer, that's only going to mean more business to me just because good reviews, good vibes, and just all around, you know, taking care of everyone. So that's, that's what I'm all about. So if you liked what you saw, I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. And then just keep watching and stay tuned for the next videos. Have a good one. Peace.